Hello friends, welcome to NGG News. This is Dr. Shrivira here, aka New Genius Gamer. And in today's news, we've got Lara Croft's Tomb Raider coming out in, out in 2013 for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and the PC. The new details have emerged regarding the multiplayer aspect of this game. Again, coming on to the ramp version of it, do we really still require multiplayer to buy a game? Here are the details based on the official Xbox magazine about the Tomb Raider multiplayer. There will be three game modes actually. Three game modes, Team Deathmatch, Rescue and Cry for Help. The Team Deathmatch actually pits a team of Lara surviving allies against a group of hostile natives known as the Scavengers to not so open maps feature a wide variety of traps like falling bridges, spikes, out of walls, climbing shimmer bell, climbing shimmy able surfaces and more in a best of three rounds matches. The second game mode is Rescue. This features a group of scavengers who have to collect a set number of medicine packs over a rotating set of destinations. The mode gives survivors a bleed out time which you can cut short with a brutal melee finisher. The third game mode Cry for Help features a strong emphasis on discovery and collection where the action takes a backseat. Other details regarding multiplayer includes player can select from a deep roster of characters with different states and loadouts. Weapons include primary firearm and bow, sidearm, grenade style projectile, climbing axe that serves as a melee. XP gain can be applied to stats and purchasing more advanced characters. There is a map called Wind Chasm a tropical environment with traps and vantage points. Lara doesn't appear to be a playable character in multiplayer, sadly, though players can choose multiple of the same characters. Some single player actions have been sped up and the bow can be used to distract enemies. There are quick time events in the multiplayer. The details as of yet of how many game modes will be made available on the multiplayer is yet to be known. Still, this is a fascinating development in the universe of Tomb Raider because this is the first time ever Square Enix is including a multiplayer component to Tomb Raider. Share your opinions in the comment section below and visit our blog at newgeniusgamer.com. Please subscribe me and like this post for more on NGG news. Keep it locked at youtube.com slash drshrivira.